Chapter 5. Later that week. No one wanted to trade lunches with me until... Dips on CC's sandwich. Aw, I wanted it. I figured out the secret. My signature sandwich. I need American lunches for school. Why would you want that? It's what everyone else eats. I want to help, but I don't know how to make American food. I saw what the other kids ate, at, ate and put the ingredients on the list. Rice, spinach, zucchini, eggplant, pork, bread, spaghetti sauce, Chinese sausage, butter, white fluff stuff. I made my American lunch, but it took a few tries. Pizza, hot dog. Until I made a winner, everyone wanted my marshmallow peanut butter sandwich. Well, not everyone. Chapter 6. Back to the present. I love eggs. Want to trade desserts too? My grandmother's pineapple cake? Amma's pineapple cake makes me think of her. And that reminds me that I need money for the plane ticket. Okay, I can't say no to that look. My friends try to help. Sell some of your things. My mom's always telling me to get rid of stuff. Fun Run Fundraiser. Friends gave my mom money for the marathon. Poker Tournament. We do school car wash fundraisers all the time. You could walk dogs. I don't have one. Or you could walk mine. But they don't. Sleep over at my house tomorrow night. I got a new facial mask. We can try it out. Maybe next time. I haven't dared ask my parents about doing a sleepover again. Besides, I've got to figure out how to get the money. I just don't know how. Look. Kids, can you cook? Dare to dream? Be a platinum junior chef. Cash prize. This is my answer, but Sukyao dumpling, batsang, sticky rice dumpling with in banana leaf, hulubapun, minced pork over rice, shaved ice. I only know how to cook Taiwanese foods. Dream cash prize. I have to do it for Ama. This is your answer. You're going to win. Yay, I'm going to win. How much is the prize? $1,000. That's enough to bring him all. Sign me up. You're very lucky. You got the last spot. Just bring back this parental consent form. I will tomorrow. There is one, only one small problem. You've come to pray to your ancestors. Mom, I, um, we pray, then we eat. Yeah, that's why I'm here. It can't hurt to pray that Mom signs the consent form. Please protect everybody's health and safety. Please rest in peace. Mom, you're supposed to be praying. A happy mom is a say yes mom. Want to hear a secret? Dad, don't tell Dad. Ma and I want to surprise him. She's coming over for her birthday. But how? I can't take money to buy a plane ticket without telling your dad. We send money to her every month. But even with that, and with the cut in her pen session, I, I think, she, I don't think she has, I will win the money to bring Ma here. I'd tell her about the cooking contest, prize money, and plane ticket. All you, you have to do is sign this. I want to help Amma come in for her birthday. It says, Amma says it's bad luck if we celebrate after. You're my good girl. You know, Dad will worry if your grades slip. I'll keep my grades up. I promise. Promise? It paid to pray after all. I start practicing for the 
contest by making dinner every night. Your mother works very hard. You are a very good girl, so thoughtful to your mother. Chapter 7. Saturday, two weeks later. Round 1. Time to go. I can't decide red for success and good fortune or green for money and wealth. Someone looks like a Christmas tree. Too funny. Dad, gotta, gotta go. We need to get out fast before he asks where we're going. Cece, you're all checked in. Relax, you'll be fine. I check out the competition. They look like they're just as nervous, except the girls next to me. Hi, I'm Cece. Miranda. Nice sneakers. Uh Uh-huh. You were practically born at a restaurant, but let me give you a little advice. I don't know why she's such a grump. I'm in so much trouble. How do I compete with someone who already, with her own restaurant? You have them all with your knife skills. Twirl the pasta into a neat nest. Don't pack the ground meat. It makes the meatball too dense and dry. Yes, Dad. We give each other the head nod of understanding. I brought your toque and knife roll. Let's get started. She even has her own knives. I'm burnt toast. I don't know how, why I thought I could win this for a ma. Welcome to Platinum Junior Chef, because Platinum is obviously better than iron. I'm Mr. Grant, owner of the store and head judge. Impress me, and you could be on your way to winning the next grand prize. Our other judges are Miss Kindling. You already know my right-hand man, or should I say, my right-hand woman. And over here, we have local celebrity chef, Mr. Bones, owner of the esteemed Lee Beckfin. Mr. Bones. That's right. A real chef will judge you. Each week, I'll present you with a key ingredient that you must use in your dish. Other than that, you can use any ingredient in the store and in the pantry. Sadly, one team will be eliminated each round. Teams, this may not be so bad if I get paired with Miranda of the Knives. Miss Kindling, what are the six teams? I cross my fingers twice for good luck, for double good luck. Lucky red works, but is it enough? And now to reveal the key ingredient. Are you ready? I give you rice. I know rice. I mean, I really know rice. I know rice better than anyone. You have a few minutes to agree on your dish. No fighting, kids. I know what I want to make. My mom's minced pork over rice. We can't win making Chinese food. It's Taiwanese. Is it sophisticated? You mean complicated? I mean, is it fancy? It's homey. I want to make porcini risotto. What's that? It's Italian cuisine, rice cooked with porcini and broth. Then I add parmigiano reggiano. You won't be able to stop eating it. Yes, let's do it. The risotto sounds like an Italian version of my mom's meal. She's making Taiwanese food. I'll get the rice. You can't just use any kind of rice. Make sure you get Arborio. I knew that. I didn't. Who knew there were so many different kinds of rice? Arborio. Dried porcini. Voila. My partner isn't just an expert. Miranda is a magician. But I still know how to wash rice. I'll wash the rice. It's not laundry. But I always wash rice. Wash rice? Why would you do that? You'll wash away the starch that makes the risotto creamy. Oh, I knew I... I thought I knew rice, but I'm wrong. Fresh porcini. Stirring. Parmigiano Reggiano, stirring. Sage, stirring. It's only 30 minutes. You're not tired, 
are you? Who, me? No. For a ma, I will stir into the night if I have to. Stop cooking the rice. That's still hard. And now to make it extra special. If a smell could be a warm blanket on a cold rainy day, this is it. Are you ready for the judging? I haven't checked out the other dishes. What if they're better, way better than ours? Judging round one. Hmm, your Thai green curry has something missing. Even if it is missing something, it smells yummy. Maybe I can get my parents to try Thai food. Refreshing. Nothing like a little citrus to wake the pot. Citrus rice salad. Red beans and rice. A taste of New Orleans, or shay, or as I like to call it, New Orleans. Hmm, flavor profile is okay. Everyone's food looks so yummy. I know who they're going to let go. I love rice pudding. It reminds me of warm pudding on a cold on cold mornings after Christmas Day when I was a child. I don't know if we can comp- compete against Christmas memories. I can't tell if the judges like the frittata with the rice and asparagus. Then it's our turn. Somehow the walk to the di- to the judges takes forever, and then in a split second. Ready or not, we're there. Hmm. He hates it. I just know it. Excellent, excellent. The rice is perfect. Well done. I can't put up with her attitude for more, for five more Saturdays. I'm going to do this for my family. You all made delicious dishes. I don't know who the grand prize winner will be, except my growing belly. After much deliberation, we have decided to call down Christopher and Adam. Your Thai green curry did not make the cut. Miranda and I did it. We're a team. I told you we shouldn't make your Thai food. Team? <laughs> We're just working together. Taiwanese, not Thai. My bad. Miranda doesn't know everything, but maybe she was right about not making Asian food. Chapter 8. Good morning, good night, my winning girl. I believe in you, Cece. You do? Let me show you. I bought new luggage at the morning market. She had so much faith in me. The morning market isn't the same without you. But I will come soon and you'll show me the big Pike Place market. When do you compete again? Every Saturday. There are 12 of us, but we're down to 10, with eliminating a team each round. There will be five more rounds. The last one is the finals. I'll think of every Saturday. Uh, about you every Saturday. Now, it's bedtime for me. Have a good day at school. I know you like eggs. Mom, you're the best. I won't let her down. You won the cooking contest? Are you going to Disneyland? I have five more rounds. Cooking contests are for grown-ups. My mom watches Dante's Kitchen. Do you have to make fancy food? Don't you have to make fancy food? You can't make Chinese. That's takeout. But, but... You don't know anything. Cece isn't cooking Chinese. Hmm, I love orange chicken. She cooks American. So there. That's right, American. I wish they didn't assume that big... That I'm cooking American. Besides, I'm Taiwanese, not Chinese. No one hears me. Chapter 9, Round 2. I've got Miranda, but is she enough? We're going to win this. Um, I hope we got this. My dad always says hope is a dull blade. I think her family model just took mine to the mat. Once, 
one team was eliminated in the first round. I hope you've brushed up on your culinary skills because we'll challenge you even more in round two. To make things more interesting, you have 60 minutes. Today's key ingredient will be very familiar. You might even be tempted to make your favorite sandwich. But today, you must transform the key ingredient I give you. Ground beef. The quintessential ingredient for a hamburger. We'll make my bolognese sauce. I'll get the spaghetti. Spaghetti is boring. Linguini, macaroni. We need pasta that grabs the sauce. This is perfect. Penne, radiator, taglet, ilka, bucatini. I'll cook the noodles. Do you know how? I cook noodles at home. Just never spaghetti straws, but they're still noodles. I can do this. I helped Miranda gather the rest of the ingredients. Ground beef, olive oil, butter, tomato paste, onions, celery, carrot, milk, tomatoes, salt, pepper, parmigiano, oregano, cheese. My heart thumps in nervous time. I'll chop the onions and the brown, and you brown the meat. You, you're like a samurai. With a lot of practice, I could work a life, knife like her. A lot of practice. But now I'm browning the meat and boiling the water. The pasta, pasta, no brainer. Make it all dente. I've got it. I cook noodles all the time. I almost ask her what she means, but then she keep treating me as if I know any if I don't know anything. I do know things. I might use chicken liver to give deep flavor. I have to hurry to the next step, the sauce. We don't have time to cook the ragu all day. The electric pressure cooker will speed things up. You're not scared, are you? Me? No. I have used one plenty of times. My dad says I'll run the restaurant one day. Miranda is so lucky. She already knows she'll be a chef. I still have no clue what I'll be someday. We're ahead of time schedule. Time to drain the noodles. Let me taste the pasta. I'll show Miranda she's not the only one who can cook. You overcooked the pasta. It's not al dente. I cooked it just like ho- at home. I didn't want to look stupid by asking earlier, but here I am. I can't serve the judges this overcooked mush. I will cook new pasta. Go, go, I'll get more pasta. I'm sorry, I'll fold the pot. Thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe for part three.